Today we will be listening to a detailed audio description of the piece Mirab, or Prayer Niche, created in Iran or Central Asia in the late 15th or early 16th centuries, using glazed ceramic tile in a mosaic technique. It was a gift to the Cincinnati Art Museum by the Museum Shop Committee and its 90 volunteers in 1971. The prayer niche is 106.5 inches tall and 89 inches wide. The first part outside of the niche and flat to the wall has a dark blue background with white lettering and lighter blue decoration swirling behind the letters. There's a border of white four-pointed stars on both sides of these lettered tiles, outlining and emphasizing the script. The Arabic verse recorded in the calligraphic frieze is written in cursive natalik that records an often cited verse from the Quran, which refers, among other things, to piety and almsgiving, which are important principles of Islam. The first part is outside of the niche and is flat to the wall. It has a dark blue background with white lettering and lighter blue decorations swirling behind the letters. There is a border of white four-pointed stars on both sides of these lettered tiles, outlining and emphasizing the script. The script is a calligraphy frieze in cursive Arabic that records an often cited verse from the Quran, which refers, among other things, to piety and almsgiving, which are important principles of Islam. The next section takes us closer into the central prayer niche and is a transition space with tiles covered in flowers. The flowers are all part of the same vine that goes up both sides and meets in the middle top of the design. The flowers are of varying types, but always mirrored and symmetrical with the other side of the design. This section follows the same color scheme as the outside, with a dark blue background and the vine in a lighter blue. The flowers are white with some highlighting in colors of gold, brown, black, and green. Directly above the cylindrical niche are tiles that are opposing the adjacent flower section, but look very similar. The background is like blue and with dark blue or black intertwined in a vine design with a few white, green, and black flowers. The concave cylindrical niche is divided into three horizontal bar sections and are the most ornate tiles of the whole piece. The pattern in the top section is similar to a gazebo structure with a top roof and pillars going down and dividing the top into four sections. Each pieced section divided by this structure is decorated with a complex design of many shapes that create mirrored decorations in green, brown, gold, and shades of blue. The middle horizontal section has a light blue background with a dark vine pattern similar to the top section of the niche. The design is more heavily focused on leaves on a winding vine rather than flowers. On the top and bottom are thin lines of blue and gold to separate this middle section from the others. The bottom horizontal bar section of the niche is more geometric than the rest of the piece. It has a single pattern repeated four times in total. There is a six-pointed star shape that is light blue with decoration in white with dark blue or black in the center. Surrounding the star is dark blue and white sections that have contrasting details in the center in brown or gold and green. Five times a day, the devout Muslim prays while kneeling toward Mecca, Islam's holy city, and the site of Allah's revelation to the Prophet Muhammad. Thus, the central prayer niche, or mahrab, in a mosque denotes Qibla, or the direction toward Mecca. Thus, the wall with the mahrab is known as the Qibla wall. It is important to note that the Cincinnati Art Museum displays our mahrab as a work of work, and it is not installed to notate Qibla as one would find in a mosque. The concave mahrab niche is used by the imam during Muslim prayers to magnify and bounce back sound to other worshippers, thus creating an acoustic device as well as a focal point used for submission in prayer. This piece has long been a favorite stop for tours of the Cincinnati Art Museum's permanent collection due to its lovely colors, geometry, and meaning. 
The next time you're in the art museum, we invite you to speak near the marab. You will notice how much louder your voice can be. Be sure to check in next week for another detailed audio description from the Cincinnati Art Museum's permanent collection.